Hi, welcome to Halo. I'm Shay Smith and today we're going to talk about harvesting seasonal herbs. We've had a lot of questions the last couple of days and last couple of weeks as all these wonderful plants are coming into harvest time. So today I'm going to teach you how to harvest fresh herbs, how to hang and dry them, and then finally how to garble them into the teas and medicines that you need. Come on. Here we are in front of the Halo shop, in front of our medicinal garden. This is actually past the prime time for harvesting peppermint. We did that a couple of weeks ago and hung it up in our shop. But I am just going to show you and use this as an example so that you can harvest the things that are in season right now. So what we're looking for on the mint, you can usually harvest mint um, two to three times a season. It grows back really quick. You cut it down to about three to four inches above ground and it will grow back in, in a, just a few weeks and you can harvest again. So mint is one of those herbs that we usually get two to three harvests out of. This has gone to flower, which is lovely to have in front of our shop, but not ideal for harvesting. So let me just show you. You can cut whatever size stalk you'd like. For purposes today, I'm just going to cut about this size. It is, you know, you don't want to get them too thick because as they're drying, you don't want them to be tightly bunched together. Um, they won't dry properly and it also increases the likelihood of mold. So you want a really loose uh, bunch and sometimes that means that you, you gather five or six bunches at a time. Now we're in front of a row of rosemary. Wonderful to harvest very aromatic as it's drying in your home. And let me show you how to do this. There's so many varieties of rosemary. Um, I'm going to get a couple of sprigs. This grows right outside of one of our restaurants here in town. Normally you would use proper um, pruning shears, but they're in my car because I was at a farm this weekend and I don't have access to them. So I went into the shop and got as close as I could, but I much prefer to use pruning shears when I'm harvesting. So I've gotten a, a few sprigs of rosemary and let's go back to the table and I'll show you how to bunch this and tie it up. In front of the shop, I've brought our garbling table outside, which I'm going to go into detail in a few minutes. Be before I do that, I would like to show you how to tie and bunch your herbs together. So you can use anything. You can use rubber bands, you can use yarn, you can use anything you want. I really prefer to use twine, which I buy at the hardware shop. Um, and since we go through so much of it at Halo, I buy it in big rounds. And I also like raffia. There's something about this that just really lends itself to going well with the herbs. It's biodegradable. Um, I can just throw it out in compost pile at the end of the season. So I love using this too. And it's great for um, Christmas presents and packaging throughout the year to use. So what I do generally, this is so simple, is I tie a half knot. Pretty tight, but not super tight. I go around the plant and I come back to the front. Now this knot is going to be much tighter. I tie this, I have my herbs under control at this point, where they weren't so much the first time. And I do, I tie it tight. And then I go one more time, tie it tight again. Then I take both pieces and I make a loop, pull it through, and this is what I'm going to hang it by. Right there is the loop. I cut off the excess, which I'll use for other herbs. This is plenty enough to do another bunch of herbs. And then I just like it to look nice and neat at the end. You don't need to do this, but I always like to cut them so they look nice and neat so when you hang them. And then what I do, is I take a clothespin, put it on, write the name of the herb, the date it was harvested, and I hang it. Just like this or, you know, anywhere you want it. Um, the best way to do is, once again, to take a piece of twine like this, tack it on one end and one end, and then you have a clothesline, and just hang your herbs here. When you're using the twine, it's very simple as well same type. This is a little bit um, easier to work with. It's not so gangly, the rosemary. One knot, go around, do your slip knot, make it tighter. Second, full knot. This plant's not going anywhere. 
and circle knot. These don't really need trimming. They worked out great. I'll just trim the top of that. Add one of my old fashioned little clips. And there we go. Voila. And there's a lot more that I could go into with drying herbs and conditions and different ways of drying them, which we will cover in a later video.